Everybody, thanks for uh, joining us on uh, part one of a three-part video series for the Gilbert Engineering uh, Baldrick Build Kit. And it's it's a cute little kit. It's $175 for the kit plus shipping costs, of course. And this is something that we're actually going to be doing in our local Northwest Mini. Uh, we're going to have a build class, so I thought it would be great to put together uh, a few videos. The first one is going to be just a simple unboxing so everyone can see what comes with the kit, the different pieces. Uh, and we'll talk a little bit about the board itself in that video. The second video is going to be the actual build itself. And uh, the third video is going to be uh, connecting it to X lights and getting in and looking at the internal of the board through the web connection. So uh, with that, uh, we're gonna go ahead and jump right into the first video. All right, so let's go ahead and open up uh, the box for the kit so you guys can kind of see what it comes in. It's uh, packed relatively tight in the box. Get the box out of the way. And you can see right here that we have the uh, bud box. It's the 3216 uh, bud box and all the pieces for the kit when you get it should be inside. So here we have the uh, the actual mounting plate, 3D printed mounting plate that's going to go on the bottom of uh, the top of the power supply and then the board will connect to the top of that. Here is a uh, port guide and that's for drilling the holes on your port. It's already set up, so you can just set it on the side of the bottom of the edge and draw well, the Sharpie, your circles, so that you can use your uh, bits to drill out the holes. Your power wires, connecting from the actual uh, power supply to the board itself. Uh, it's, uh, it's the right gauge, but they are soft flex, so they have a easily uh, bendable. You have your Ethernet cable, your power cord, your pigtails, and you can specify whether you want Ray Wu or you want X Connect. Of course, I went with Ray Wu because that's what I've been doing all along. They are they are tinned, uh, so some of us will probably want to uh, trim that off and go with bare wires or put ferrules on them, which we'll be doing when we do our build. And then here is the board itself, the Baldrick board itself. Uh, let's take a quick peek at the board. So you can kind of see what the board looks like. It will kind of cover just a few basics on the board itself. Um, the nice thing is it's totally sealed in. So if you are in an area where there may be some uh, salt water corrosion issues you're having, you have a little bit better protection of this board. Uh, it has uh, two ports to accept power in, and um, it can uh, accept anywhere from 5 volt to 24 volt, 24 volts uh, pixels with this. Uh, the power management system is able to accept them and adjust uh, depending on what it's doing. With, with the two different ports, um, you can do up to about 750 pixels per port and still get 40 frames per second when it comes to this board. Two power inputs. Uh, allowing you to do uh, full loads at, at 100% uh, and the fuses are 7.5 each. It can do DDP, ArcNet, uh, uh, 131, and SCAN uh, compatible. And it's got three programmable buttons so that you can possibly use it for an FPP app to start or stop a sequence. And it's very, it has a very small footprint, which is a nice thing about it. It's very compatible with other smart receiver mounts and you don't need a Pi or FPP licensing to use it. And um, you'll just kind of run from X-Lights to push the integration to it, and it's all set to go. So that's great. And it's all sealed in, which is really nice. Everything is sealed in. So that's the board itself. And of course, you're going to get uh, your glands here for all of your cables that are going to go through. Here are uh, your screws for mounting. And of course, your power supply. And then the bottom backer board itself. So you've got all the pieces to build it out completely. And like I said, with the um, template that you get, 
that's what you put like right on here depending on how you want to have your your power coming in that's going to be the power and that is going to that's going to be your ethernet that's going to be the power and then these will be your ports coming out you can do it either way just put it on there use a sharpie and then get your step bits if you have them some of the tools that you're probably going to need if you're building this uh, pretty basic step bit for drilling if you have one um, definitely some screws screwdriver uh, wire strippers if you have a good wire stripper that's a good one to use um, if you're going to add connectors to your wires something to maybe crimp them on with as well as if you're going to do ferrules something to do your ferrules which is probably all the tools you're going to need nothing really special to get the job done for those that are going to do this at the northwest christmas mini please make sure when you email me uh, to let me know which kind of pigtails you want and if you want all of your wires uh, pre-done with the ferrules or if you want bare wires as well as uh, connectors uh, for your power cords you can put those on also so those things will help me but we will have the boxes pre-drilled for you so the build will go a little bit easier come the day of the event well that's it pretty short and sweet i mean it's just a simple unboxing of all the different components that are in there we will talk about some optional pieces um that you can put in the kit when you build it yourself i know i'm going to make some uh, minor changes in my build for the second one i do um but we want to thank you for joining us on this brief little trip for the unboxing hope to see you in the second video